Recently, I thought to myself, I wonder if it's possible to make text gradually get smaller or bigger along a path in Illustrator. And at first, yes, it did seem impossible. But is it? So with the challenge accepted, I started scouring the internet to try and find a solution to this seemingly impossible problem. Oh, come on! No! La, la, la. Luckily, I stumbled across some very clever people on one of the Adobe forums talking about solutions to said problem. And they'd even pasted their clever person's code that I was able to politely steal. And I then added this to a new .jsx file that you can download in the video description. And the best part is it actually works. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve this effect. And if you haven't done so already, you've got that JSX file in the video description. Download that, boot up Illustrator, and let's get started. Rightio, let's kick this off by selecting the spiral tool and then click anywhere. You can customize your spiral settings here, click OK, and then I'm going to select the type tool, hover over this end of the spiral and then click to add text to the path. Now with the main selection tool, I'm going to move this down and then hold Alt or Option and drag to duplicate this two more times. And this process does require a bit of trial and error, hence the multiple versions. And I'm gonna start by selecting the left one, going to file and down to scripts. Select other script and then navigate to the script file that you downloaded and you're then prompted to enter the size of your first character. Click OK and then enter the size of your last character and you can see Illustrator then applies this graduation of size to all of your text. Now you won't get it right first time, this is kind of representative of what happens, so let's try this again with another one. I had way too much text before, so let's reduce the amount of text. So we'll trim this right back, delete, and then run the script again. Let's enter some different values as well, just to make it interesting. And then click OK and let the script do its thing. And there you go, you can see this one turned out a lot better. As I say, it does take a lot of trial and error. Let's delete that and try one more. And you can see here I'm using Laura Mipsum placeholder gibberish. And the trick is to find a balance of sentence length and character size that you're happy with, and then replace the placeholder text with text of your own. That text, of course, being a similar length. Okay, for the last one, let's go for 70 and five. Click okay and watch the magic happen. And it's a little bit of a game this is, trying to get the text as close to the center as possible. Arguably a game lacking any degree of fun, but anyway, you can now go and customize the font and font properties from the property inspector on the right. And illustrators use this script to generate a unique size for every character. So changing the size of the text undoes everything we've done. Another nifty trick is to adjust the tracking. The tracking is the spacing between all of the letters, so you can increase or decrease this to move the text further towards the center or further away. Just don't do it too much because the letters may start overlapping. And it's not just spiral text we can do this on, oh no no, we can do this on point text and area text as well. Simply add your text or define your text box, add your words, run the script, and Illustrator will do the rest. As you can see, it went a bit off screen there, so let's just pull that back in and yeah. Ta-da! So there we go, a super snappy video. Hope you liked it. I've got another must watch here that is literally a minute long, or you can take your chances with YouTube's algorithm over here. As always, that's it from me. Take care and I'll see you next time.